Hey guys, this is on. Hey guys, this is on. Hey guys, this. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys, this is on. Hey guys, this. Hey guys, this. Hey guys. Hey guys, this is Sunny. So a lot of you might remember the Nintendo. But um, so today I'm gonna be talking about the Nintendo Switch. I got this in November of last year, or call it Black Thursday. Um, I got it, and I'm gonna be talking about my thoughts on it six months later. So I have to say, in the first thing that um I really liked about the Nintendo Switch are the Joy Cons. They're um. They're really nicely sized. They're not like too big for my hand or too small for my hand. <laughs> that sounded weird. But they're also just really comfortable to hold as well in terms of the design. I like that it doesn't have a traditional D-pad because I've always kind of had an issue with that. It just didn't work for me. So instead of that, you've got the buttons on here. Um, it's just got a really basic design to it and that kind of helps it a lot. Which is just a really, really, um, it's simple to me, it's not like there's any extra, like, things to it, the, you just got your triggers and your bumpers, as I call them, because I play on Xbox, um, but you've just got your ZR, ZL, whatevers, and then, uh, so, in terms of, so that's just about the actual Switch itself. In terms of its like game library and everything, definitely I would say the Switch has got some solid hits on it. You've got Breath of the Wild, uh, Splatoon 2, I guess, Smash Bros, stuff like that. What? Super Mario Odyssey. No. Super Mario Odyssey is better. You know. What I mean? Uh huh. Sure. Okay. Anyway, Splat 2, um, Smash is coming out, stuff like that, and I think a lot of the game library on here, in terms of exclusives. Is really, 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 really nice. But the game library on here is actually really, really good for um, a console that's only been out for about uh, a year and three months, right? March of last year. A year and three months. But for a console that's only been out for a year and three months, almost exactly now, it's actually had a pretty good library so far of uh, games. So, the... I guess there's not really that much to say. My um, specific, I only have two games on here. Um, so that is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I had a really fun time with. Um, and then there's also Mario Kart. I play that occasionally, but not as much. Um, I will say the portability feature on here is really nice. I, my dad just doesn't really let me take it anywhere. So I don't ever actually get to, I usually don't play portably unless it's around the house. Um, but it's, just, it's a really handy console, so that's nice. And... Sonny, talk about how, um, talk about like some of the special features, like the control, not the controls, but like... Like motion controls? Yeah, motion controls. I like, the. Uh, well there is motion controls, yeah. Those are generally helpful sometimes, but like also in games like where they use motion control for shooting things that's like the most inconvenient you can get because then you've kind of got like and then you completely miss your shot so i would say what i really like is like with a game like mario kart where you can kind of just take the joy con off you, go, you only have to play with one and then you can kind of you hold it sideways and then you can use it like that or you can play with two joy con Ooh, you hold up. You just Right. Or you can just play with your two Joy-Cons, uh, ZLZR, and their buttons. I like that some games were kind of smart enough to have the uh, the ability to switch switch between what the way you want to actually play, not just handheld or console or uh, TV, but also within like Joy-Cons and everything. Talk about TV mode. TV mode. I mean, uh, TV mode's pretty nice. Like, 1080 uh, P is great. You should. You're mostly able to get 60 FPS for most games. 
What's really nice about the TV mode is that you can actually get a uh, 1080p, but you can also get um, well, no, actually, you just get 1080p, and sometimes, and you get like a varying frame rate, but it's usually pretty high, so you don't have to worry about that. What's really nice about it is just, I mean, some of these games look absolutely amazing. Like, if you have Breath of the Wild, that game, I mean, it's beautiful, and then you put it on like a 100 inch, like Samsung UHD curved TV, and like, boom, like, it's amazing how good these games can look and how like if you use tv mode you really get to take advantage of that with um like just display size and it's 1080p is all you can get but i think the future of the switch is uh i'm definitely seeing more mario and Zelda games because those were great successes with the company pokemon is coming out soon i would say that I'm 99% sure they're going to invent a VR headset for this thing. Like, per, I'm, I'm not sure how Labo's doing. It's not doing too well, is it? Right. How's Labo doing? Ken. I mean, I'm not sure what they're going to do about Labo, if they're going to end up releasing more expansion packs or not. Um, I would say they probably won't because of the, like, they received a lot of backlash, but again, it just depends on how Labo sales even out. Um, I guess that's about it, right? Right. So, without, um, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more comment, for more content like this. Make sure to let me know what you guys think of the Nintendo Switch, if you guys have one, what kind of games you have for it. Um, and, uh, and I guess that's it. So, this is the Brandon Recorder signing out. Peace out.